The New Orleans City Council Vice President JP Morrell calling for stronger enforcement of traffic camera tickets for the worst repeat offenders. Chris Joseph reports his comments come after Fox 8 broke the news. The city is owed $135 million in tickets dating back to 2010. Why are we fighting for the right to find people if we're not actually going to go out and collect the fines? New Orleans City Council Vice President JP Morrell is talking about $135 million in uncollected traffic camera tickets. Fox 8 discovered the sum earlier this year and found the city is struggling to collect. In committee meetings this week, Morrell suggested the city make house calls to get that money. Until we have a really robust conversation on aggressive enforcement, and by aggressive I mean there was a time where um, Mayor Landrew literally was booting cars in front of houses. I think that when you're looking at people who owe ten, fifteen thousand dollars of tickets speeding through school zones, I think you'd find there's probably not a lot of public outrage at the idea of booting that car in front of that house. You're, what we are really telling people is we're not going to catch up with you, and that's not the message to send. And I, I am, I am not in a every single person who has a ticket we're coming after you. But if you have $25,000 worth of tickets and you're living in the city of New Orleans, then we got a problem. Lee Zurich interviewed one of the worst offenders in 2019. We found she's part of a duo that owe more than $100,000. What do they want me to do? Sell my house and pay my parking yeah. ticket? They're not alone. Fox 8 discovered hundreds of drivers have racked up more than $10,000 in unpaid tickets. A new state law means a significant portion of that money, if collected, would flow to New Orleans schools and the city's ever-present drainage problem. Oh. We requested an interview with New Orleans Chief Administrative Officer Gilbert Montano, but the administration's press team did not make him available. He told us earlier this year that the city can boot cars and send drivers to collections, and if you can dodge both, that's it. I can't anticipate money coming in from these people that have chosen a whole different path uh, on in life and in their financial world. I don't think we'll ever see that money, and that's called a sunk cost. I asked for an interview with the city's traffic camera contractor, Vero Mobility, about its ability to get that money for the city. It referred me back to City Hall. Morrell says his eyes are now on this fall. The budget process starts September. I think the council's next step will be to look at pet projects for the administration and say, maybe we don't fund that and you will find traffic ticket dollars to go fund that. It's unclear when or if the city will ever see that money. Now, our investigation found the city did use car booting more than 10,000 times from 2019 to 2023, but we don't know how much that recouped for the city. Back to you.